it's Courtney and it's the Merseyside Derby at Anfield tonight. Feels weird having it at Monday at 8 o'clock kick off but I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we can get some form against them. Obviously Everton have just got a new manager, Sean Dyche, so even though he's a bit of a secret red, it might give them a bit of a boost to perform as we always see when they get a new manager but then slowly it falls apart but I'm quite excited for tonight. I'm very, very nervous, but I'm quite excited. Um, very much looking forward to seeing hopefully Gakpo in their first ever derbies. Should be fun. Obviously, we've seen this week that Fage, Jota and Bobby are all back in first team training. So whether we see any appearances from them, whether it be on the bench or actually coming on to play at some point, would be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, it's it's a big game. And it's even bigger than it has been for so long because obviously Everton are just coming off the back of beating the current leaders in the league, Arsenal. We're not in great form. Before that, Everton has been in really bad form. So this game could go any way possible. Um, I do think now, hopefully, with the home crowd being the atmosphere just building, it should hopefully give us the edge to win. But yeah, it's just such a weird game lately. I keep saying this in every video, like it could go anyway, but yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna go Anfield, I'm gonna go watch the coach come in, I'm gonna go to Anfield like usual, all usual stuff. Um but also make sure you check out the Chelsea video now in that vlog the result might have been a boring draw, but there is an exciting giveaway in it. I am giving away a signed Simica shirt, so make sure to go and check that out. I will link it in the top corner, whichever one it is. But make sure you go and check that out and enter because you can end up winning a signed Simica shirt, which is pretty cool. So that being said, let's go to the game. <laughs>
Tarsard Hotel and Field with Police Tarsard. It was a good idea to bring the Everton fans past a bunch of Liverpool pubs along Anfield Road. And I just want to say the police made such a stupid decision with that. Um, definitely over the next few years they need to change it because you can't be walking them past there and having a bunch of trouble caused by it. But with that being said, let's hopefully get three points in the win.
There we go. Liverpool finally win a game and it's the derby. 2-0 with goals from Mo Salah and Cody Gakpo. Now, Nunes has set up for Mo Salah's goal. It was amazing. And also, luckily, I had Mo Salah in my fantasy team. And he was the captain for a day. So he got me 22 points. Thanks, Mo. Um, but yeah, that performance, way better. The atmosphere in the ground, way better. We need this more often. Um, the Spine Young Cup did an amazing thing where it was a flag day today. So they encouraged everyone to bring flags. And obviously, they have flags on the cup for you to use. And I think that just helped build massively to the atmosphere. So more of that Reds, like let's just constantly use our voices and as you can tell mine's a little bit gone now after all that shouting and screaming but use your voice. And obviously it has an effect on the players which I think we did see it helped build the confidence and I'm hoping today's results will also build the confidence. Before the game, like I said, it's a Sean Dyche team. Tonight they did not, not look anything like a Sean Dyche team which like was a good thing for us. Um, I actually said to Day at the game, it felt like a lot better of a game than it did last season. And that's like crazy to think because we're in two completely different forms at the minute. Like last season we were on fire, but obviously they time wasted quite a lot more than I think they did today. Um, maybe that could be something you can see, a change in tactics from the manager. Obviously with a new manager coming in last year, they had Frank Lampard. Um, but yeah, I loved it. Man of the matches for me, Joe Gomez, absolutely brilliant. I think he only made one bad ball all game. And Mo Salah, who I've already mentioned, scored the goal. But also before that, he just seems to be a way better player than he has been for a while. A lot of um, a lot of creation happening from him and creating like little goes on goal and that. I feel like the first half, all it was was us and the second half that did slightly change but that first half was absolutely amazing. Obviously we got to see Jürgen's fist bumps at the end, I absolutely love that. And then there was also a fight. Now I'm not going to lie, I do love a fight at a football game, like watching it on the pitch. Um, I usually am shouting fight, fight, fight. Um, but what was really interesting about that is Fage was like, so obviously it started with Robbo and Pickford. Apparently Robbo laughed at Pickford. Um, Apparently there's a picture of that, I need to go and see it because it will make me laugh. But um, I know Fage was warming up. <clears throat> so I actually obviously have some clips in this like you would have seen. But all I could see when I was looking at that, because I used it as soon writing, was Fage towering over everyone. That just sort of made me laugh. I then saw what I think was Simicus running from the bench down with all kicking off. I think loads of the substitutes did because then later on I spotted Nunes giving an Everton player a middle finger after he shoved him. So that was hilarious from Nunes. I like how the little bits of English he does know is the swears and the hand gestures for swearing. So that's a pretty fun thing. Thing. but yeah it feels it's so good to have a win and sort of give us this confidence hopefully in the next two games which are massive Newcastle away next weekend which is also a bit like a derby for me with a lot of my family living in Newcastle and then also we've got Real Madrid in the Champions League round of the last 16 so that is another big game um, and yeah before I go I said it earlier in the video but make sure you check out the Chelsea video and also my Instagram page because there is a giveaway going on where you can win a signed Simica shirt so make sure you check that out and go and then a rip because who doesn't want a signed shirt? Like it is pretty cool to have as you can see by the ones behind me. <laughs> um, I do love a good signed shirt. But yeah that being said I'm off and I'll see you next match day. Bye!